In this video, we're going to multiply the numbers in a list using Python. We'll create a function to carry out this work. We'll call the function list underscore multiply. And the function is going to accept as an argument the list of numbers. So we'll call the parameter numbers. We'll create a variable called product that's going to help us multiply all the numbers in the list. We'll initialize product to one. What we're going to do is take each number in the list and multiply it by product. And then we're going to store the result into product. We initialize product to one because that way, when we take the first number in the list and multiply it by product, we'll get back that first number. Next, we'll make our loop to go through each number in the list and multiply it by product and store the result into product. So we'll say for number in numbers. So this for loop is going to go through each number in the numbers list. And we're going to take that number and multiply it by the product and store the result back into product with this assignment here. Finally, we can return the product once we've multiplied all the numbers. So we're going to say return product. We can now test this function out. So we'll create a list with these values. List one is equal to two, three, five, and two. Then we can call our list multiply function with this list as an argument. And we'll call print to print out the return value from this function call. So we can save our program and we'll try it out. So python d.py and we get back 60, which makes sense because two times three is six, six times five is 30, 30 times two is 60. Whenever we want to better understand how a section of code is working, we can always add in print function calls to print out values that we're interested in. So for example, in the case of this function, we could print out the values involved in each multiplication that takes place in this for loop. So for example, we could have print and we'll print out the product followed by the X character for multiplication, then the number, then the equals character, and then we could print out product multiplied by the number. And if we save this and run our program again, we can see what's happening at each iteration of that for loop to better understand how the return value is being computed. Notably, the Python library NumPy includes a function called prod that will return the result of multiplying all the numbers in the list. So for example, we could just import NumPy. And we could use the function like this. We could say print numpy dot prod and we'll pass it list one as an argument. And if we save this and run our program, we'll get 60 again, which is correct. So this is how we can multiply all the numbers of a list using Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.